Manny Pacquiao returns to take on current WBA title holder your Dennis Ugas Saturday night for the title Pacquiao won two years ago in a win over Keith Thurman. Now the two unify their titles after WBC and IBF champion Errol Spence Jr. was forced to withdraw from the bout with Pacquiao after suffering a torn retina in training camp. Let's break it down. Your Dennis Uzgas, 35 years old, he's 5'9", with a 69-inch reach and a record of 26-4 with 12 knockouts. From Santiago de Cuba, Ugas began his amateur career at the age of 16 and as a member of the Cuban national team, won gold medals at the Pan American Games and World Championships, as well as a bronze medal in the 2008 Beijing Olympics. After six attempts, Ugas was finally able to defect in 2010 after amassing a record of 96-9 and made his pro debut with a unanimous decision that July. He quickly went 11-0 with five knockouts before dropping a split decision to Johnny Garcia in 2012. He then won his next four, including a decision over Cosme Rivera and a KO of Aiden Hernandez before dropping two straight decisions to Emmanuel Robles and Amir Imam. He bounced back with a unanimous decision over Jamal Jones, then went on a seven-fight winning streak, including decisions over Thomas Delorme, and Cesar Baranuevo, and a TKO over Ray Robinson before challenging Showtime Sean Porter for the WBC welterweight title. He put up an impressive performance, managing to cut the champion in an action-packed brawl, only to lose via split decision. He returned two months later, defeating Omar Figueroa by a wide decision, then stopped Mike Dallas in seven rounds in February of 2020. Seven months later, he took on Abel Ramos, dominating the fight and pulling out a split decision victory to claim the vacant WBA regular welterweight title, and four months later was elevated to super champion after Manny Pacquiao was stripped of his title due to inactivity. Working behind a solid double jab, Ugas is atypical for a Cuban fighter, preferring to box in a phone booth and giving up his reach advantage to outlast and outwork his opponents with wide looping body shots and a wild overhand right. Manny Pacquiao is 42 years old. He's 5'6", with a 67-inch reach and a record of 62-7-2 with 39 knockouts. From General Santos, Philippines, Pacquiao was born into extreme poverty and introduced to boxing by his uncle, deciding to make it a career after watching Buster Douglas knock out Mike Tyson in 1990. He made the Philippines national team, and despite never getting to represent his country, he amassed an amateur record of 60-4 and four before turning pro in 1995 with a unanimous decision. He compiled a record of 32-2 and two with 23 knockouts before winning the IBF Super Bantamweight title with a six-round stoppage of Lalo Anilo Ledwaba in June of 2001. He defended that belt five times, including a draw with Agapito Sanchez and a knockout of Emmanuel Lucero before stepping up to featherweight to win Ring Magazine's recognition as champion with an 11th round stoppage of the legendary Marco Antonio Barrera. After a draw with Juan Manuel Marquez and a loss to Eric Morales, he went on a six-fight winning streak with two knockouts of Morales and another decision over Barrera before defeating Marquez for the WBC Super Featherweight title. He followed that with a stoppage of David Diaz for the lightweight title, a nine-round beatdown of Oscar De La Hoya, and a one-punch knockout of Ricky Hatton for the junior welterweight belt. On June 14th, 2009, he dominated Miguel Cotto, scoring a 12th-round TKO. The following year, he destroyed Antonio Margarito, shattering his orbital bone, and winning the vacant WBC Super Welterweight title. He defended it with wins over Sugar Shane Mosley and Juan Manuel Marquez, but then lost a close decision to Tim Bradley, followed by a shocking one-punch knockout loss to Marquez. He bounced back the next year with dominant wins over Brendan Rios and Tim Bradley before taking on longtime rival Floyd Mayweather in one of the most highly anticipated fights in boxing history. Despite being the biggest money-making fight in history, the fight was considered a letdown, with Mayweather winning a boring unanimous decision. The next year, he concluded his trilogy with Bradley with a decision and then defeated Jesse Vargas for the WBO welterweight title before dropping a shock decision to Jeff Horn. In July of 2018, he brutally knocked out Lucas Matisse for the WBA welterweight belt and then defended it with an embarrassingly one-sided victory over Adrian Broner. 
On July 20th, 2019, at the age of 40, he defeated Keith Thurman via split decision and dropping his younger opponent in round one to cement his legacy as one of the greatest of all time. The only eight-division world champion in the history of the sport, Pac-Man has defeated 22 world champions in a career that has seen him go from a fearless, headfirst brawler to a more methodical and technical boxer-puncher. A power-punching southpaw, Pacquiao uses lightning-fast combinations and footwork, coupled with an erratic, in-and-out style that makes him unpredictable. Will the awkward style of Ugas in the last-minute substitution be able to frustrate Pacquiao? Or will Pac-Man be able to turn back the clock one last time as the brilliant career of this future Hall of Famer draws to a close? Tune in to Pacquiao vs. Ugas, and let's find out.